Okay, we got uh, just a simple little job. There's uh, eight of these uh, little gusset uh, brackets that are made. Uh, they originally were designed for one inch pipe, uh, but they actually have two inch pipe in place. So the job is to go ahead and scallop that out down to the same depth, but to fit that diameter. Well, we, uh, we went ahead and, and grabbed a piece of material of the same thickness as this, 16th of an inch, and um, we started playing with some holes, uh, getting cut, you know, working our speeds and everything else, getting somewhere in a ballpark and having a pretty decent cut. And then these four here were to verify uh, positioning in the table itself. And we're happy with uh, our fit and uh, we're ready to start uh, setting up uh, uh, our jig here in the table. Okay, our table position is right there. Now we want to set this in and repeatedly be able to just place it, and clamp it, and hit the go button and do the cutting. Okay, so now we got to set this surface as if it was riding flat on top of the points there. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to reach in here. This is uh, stainless steel rings that we've been cutting out and there was quite a few of them in that uh, one area there. This is the advantage of having a water table and the parts drop down in there and even though you continually uh, uh, plasma cut over the top the hot dross and material flying down into uh, the hole there is not sticking to the stainless at all. Of course this was just test plate and it was junk. It had plastic on one side which also too you're going to need to have a ground clamp. If you got plastic between your part there you're not going to have uh, continuity to ground. Okay, I'm going to bring this plate here which is the th same thickness as uh, we're using. We're going to have a little overhang here and we're going to take and hold our part underneath it and against the uh, cross member here and then we're going to go ahead Put a clamp down here at the bottom. And we're holding everything snug against each other so that we know that we're going to be flat. Okay, we're verifying, same height. Okay, now, unlike the water down there covering the parts that falling down there, there's nothing protecting this right here from getting pelted with the spray from the plasma torch itself. And we don't want to build up uh, a layer of junk on that surface. So we've made a little bend uh, piece of metal here and we're gonna clamp it right along with that part. We've already checked these uh, clamps out and uh, lays nice and shallow right here. Okay, so it's still just barely sticking up there. So your torch and stuff like that is not going to be a big problem here. All right, we've clamped that piece in. We just bring in a little shroud here. Let me go ahead and a piece in there like that, like that. I'm going to leave this open here so we can get a glimpse of how it is cutting down there uh, and we know that we can we can suck more than this area that we're allowing here uh, just so we keep things nice and neat and that should ricochet the material off of there and just for kicks I will give it a douse of anti-splatter now this is uh, just a practice dry run. Okay, that's all we're asking this thing to do. And uh, we've, we've done a pretty good job of getting exactly located on our part. And we've got to flip that part 180 and do the other side and we need to have those scallops 
match from both side to side. If we follow within ten thousandths, uh, fifteen thousandths, I'd be I'd be extremely happy. Let's we'll see what we we'll do. Okay, she just barely warm. Put that back a little bit more. Okay, there's our match up. That's pretty nice. We'll just do a little little sanding right there. Hardly any dross on here. We can manage that. Alright. Alright, so we flip it over. Smooth side. We had our uh, deflector again and that did work good and it didn't uh, penetrate on that. Alright, I had to show the draft there. A little noisy to talk over. Oh, we did penetrate through the aluminum on that time right there. Alright, we may have to make another piece there. A little warm. That's why they make gloves. Alright, now. Well, if they give us a long enough piece of pipe to test it, we'll have to go find a piece. Okay, it, <laughs> I have to laugh because I just went on my stock, okay? And, uh, all right, I uh, I had a piece ha one half inch longer, but that's all we needed right there. But I had, <laughs> what did I have to laugh? All right, and then uh, we'll be drilling two new holes and putting a stainless steel, a new U-bolt uh, hole configuration over here. But uh, I'm real happy with that, and that's minimum uh, hand work. We got our uh, little picture of our uh, jig that we set up for cutting that. And if we hit here, you see it? It starts over here, and that inner line, that's actual cut speed right there. So this line represents the edge of the material that I established. And then this was the center point I established in relationship to position on the table. And uh, then I had a 100% uh, cut circle in here and I broke the line itself. And uh, all my test runs were done with the auto height control. And once I locked it in there solid, I went ahead and disenabled uh, the uh, auto height so that when it gets to no material on the back here, the torch don't dive in.
was a simple job and uh, with the aid of uh, the uh, plasma cams table design and, uh, and a few other things there I uh, was able to keep a simple job simple and uh, you know I was pretty uh, pretty happy uh, being able to find my table location and, uh, and really getting right down to uh, getting these things uh, fit up right. This was part of a large contract and these individual pieces here and their change out on a pipe or whatever uh, caused a hinder in their, in their contract. They would drop by here and uh, we were able to do the modifications uh, instead of backtracking and having a simple inexpensive part made by the thousands uh, just a quick change out on eight pieces there and, uh, and they're ready to uh, rock and roll keep going on their uh, on the contract now on this uh, this one shield here that we did run through uh, it took us a couple parts but we finally clued in instead of holding it up close to the tight in the corner real close to the cut it's doing the same thing when you drop it down and when I dropped down the the final uh, shield that I made uh, it uh, it lasted through the rest of the parts uh, you know and I mean even when I made the other shield I, I had my doubts so I quickly made up a couple there uh, just so I keep uh, rolling uh, once I get going on the uh, on the cutout um, but that kept the flame spraying. And actually stainless is the worst out of all the metals of spraying on itself and sticking and causing you a lot of time on cleanup and uh, we relatively had hardly any cleanup to do um, and it made it real easy, real simple and uh, our, uh, our distance from here to here we were able to fall uh, within the uh, uh, 15, 20 thousands that uh, we were trying to get side to side so that we know that they are nice and square uh, when they when they come up there. Uh, we don't know what they're going to mount with the other two holes. We're not into that part of the job. We're just doing what was asked of us. Um, so there's just another quick little trick there on the uh, plasma table. And uh, thanks for watching.